Put your foot on the brake and okay. then press power. Just let go. Unlike most electric cars on the road today, this model's power is generated from within by combining hydrogen with the surrounding air. So the car is completely silent, just like an electric car. But otherwise, it just feels completely normal. But with the promise that it will drive so much farther with just one refueling, the question is, is this the future of motoring? Mass market manufacturers Hyundai and Toyota believe it is. The good thing about a fuel cell car, hydrogen fuel car, it basically means that you have a longer range. Um, so as you can see, we will go and fill up in about three minutes uh, and then you can go for 350 miles. The hydrogen is stored in tanks where the petrol or diesel would go in a normal car. The gas is fed into a device known as a fuel cell where it's combined with oxygen from the surrounding environment, creating a chemical reaction producing the electricity that drives the car's motor. Well, it's very, very similar to how you fill up at a petrol station. So you just open the, the cap, you have a little top, you just release it, and basically you have your nozzle there. If you compare charging and refueling, this will take three to six minutes. So clearly, that's a big difference between the four and a half hours that you would expect with a fast charge. The only emission produced while the car is driving is water. Designers say it's so pure, you could drink it. The largest manufacturer of battery-powered cars, Tesla, has driven demand for electric vehicles by making them luxurious and prestigious. Founder Elon Musk believes the entire process of creating hydrogen to drive cars consumes more energy overall, but his competitors disagree. Hydrogen allows us to store and use renewable energy. You cannot store the energy that we need in batteries alone. The UK's first hydrogen pumps went live this year. Oil giant Shell has opened others in California and Germany and has plans for eight more countries. This won't become a true mass production car until there are enough refueling stations. And at $60,000, the price tag is high. But hydrogen cars should become cheaper if more people start buying them. Ty Genreich, TRT World, London.